Hi guys, welcome to another crafty tutorial with me, Laura, and in this video I'm going to be showing you something a little bit different today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a little pom-pom robin, this little guy here. So for this tutorial we're going to need some yarn, obviously. We're going to have three colours. We're going to use a brown, a red and a white for this. And you're also going to need a pom-pom maker. You can use cardboard as well if you want to make some cardboard pom-poms. Um, but I highly recommend grabbing yourself a proper pom-pom maker because it makes life so much easier. Okay, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the bottom half of our robin. So we're going to get our three colours and we're going to start off with opening this up. So this is a clover pom-pom, not advertising clover pom-pom, but uh, I have done a tutorial on how to use these before, so I'll do a little brief tutorial on this as well. So these come in like two parts, like this, and then you just pin them together, and then these arms come out like this. So we're looking for matching up two of these halves to begin with. I'm going to start off with the red yarn, so we're going to grab our red yarn first and we're going to wrap some of this around these two arms so it's going to hold that in place and we're going to wrap the red all the way around from one side to the other until it's covered and go back the other way and do it this side as well so add some red yarn to this side of the pom-pom mika. Okay, so you want to do it until it looks fairly covered like this. So the more yarn you add at this stage, the nicer your pom-pom will look. So I'm just going to cut that there and I have no scissors. Scissors, need scissors. <laughs> you need scissors for this tutorial as well. Slightly important. Okay, so I'm going to cut that there. And then we're going to get the white yarn. So we're going to grab the white yarn next. So with the white yarn, what we're going to do is we're just going to do half of this side of the pom-pom with the white yarn. So we're going to start in the middle and then we're just going to wrap the white just this side, this quarter. Okay, and so that's the white done. Okay, so we're just doing a quarter so at that being a whole circle, then we're just doing that one quarter, this side, in the white. Then we're going to get our brown yarn. And taking our brown yarn, we're going to cover the whole thing. So... <laughs> I can pick it up. Just hold that there. And then we're going to wrap the brown all over this side. So over the white and the red. And because this side is slightly less puffy than this side, because we added the white this side, if my camera wants to focus, we need to add slightly more brown at this side, just to make sure that it levels up. And it's nice and puffy. So keep wrapping the brown. Okay, that should be enough. Cut our yarn. There we go. So that's that side done. We've got the red going all the way over, then just the white there, and then cover the brown all the way over with slightly more on this side. And then we're going to pop those two feet in there to skew it into place and then we're going to work on the other side. Now the other side, we're first of all we're going to add some white again to the same side that we added the white here so it matches up. So we need to do it the opposite side, so this left hand side. So we're going to get the white and we're going to do it the left hand side. Before we did it this side and now we're going to do it just this side on this quarter. Okay, so that's the white done. So it's just on this side, and so it matches up with the white on this side. Then we're just going to get our brown yarn, so there's no red at this side. We're just going to get our brown yarn, and taking our brown yarn, we're then going to cover the whole, whole side of this. Making sure to add more this side, because there's no yarn there at all. So we'll start off on this bit. And then we're going to go over the white as well. Okay, so now that's completely covered. I'm going to cut our yarn. So I've covered the whole of this side in the brown as well. We can pop that in there. Okay, so that's the main part of the robin done. What we're going to do now is we're going to take a short length of 
this brown yarn and then I'm going to swap to some really sharp scissors so I'm going to want my nice sewing scissors so you're going to need something sharp like Stanley Life or something so then what we're going to do is we're going to cut down the middle either side and if you've made pom-poms before you'll know what you're doing but this is why you need sharp scissors to cut through all that yarn and making sure that the little legs don't come open push down on here we're going to cut all the way down the middle of this gap down here keeping it as central as you can like so and we're going to do the same for the other side so make sure that stays closed because it will have a tendency to want to open do the same this side So yeah, last time I did this with just normal scissors, quite blunt scissors, and it took forever. So yeah, do get yourself some nice scissors and make sure that does not open. Keep that closed. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this scrap of yarn and we're going to thread it round the middle through that area we just cut. And then we're going to tie as tightly as we can. Okay, so make sure it goes down the middle, put it tightly. And you're going to need a quite a strong yarn, so don't choose a yarn that frays really easy because it could snap. So I'm going to do one knot that side and immediately turn it upside down and do a knot the other side. So this is what you, have to, you need to have to get it quite tight so it doesn't come undone. And then I'm going to do a double knot on top of that. Then I'm going to turn it upside down and do a couple of knots this side as well. That should be enough. I'm going to leave those long tails because I could use those for sewing afterwards. And then this is the fun part, we get to open it up. So we can open up this leg, these legs, and then open up these ones. There we go. These just come out and then we get to fluff up our robin. And there we go, that's the body coming together. With the red breast and the white underneath going up to the tail so what you can do at this point if you want to is just trim down any loose pieces that you might have with the scissors just to trim if you want to and that'll be okay and now what we're going to do is just going to make a little small pom-pom to go on the top for the head now i'm going to do this just with my hands because it's easier so i'm going to get the brown yarn and i'm just going to wrap this around my fingers a few times and be a bit careful with this because it can get tight Doing this. This is how to make your ultra quick pom pom. Okay, when it starts to get a little bit too tight, we're going to stop so we don't cut off our blood circulation. Cut them down. And then we're going to get, and again, another short length. And we're going to feed this around the back and feed it through those fingers if you can. <laughs> so I made it too tight. So wiggle it off a bit and we want to bring it through the middle of these fingers which I might have to take out a finger there we go okay so it's coming round the back through there and then being careful not to lose take out your fingers and then holding on to it we're going to tie that in a knot You might need someone to help you with this. I want to make sure you get a tight knot. There we go. Then I might just feed that round to the other side and do a double knot this side as well. Need someone to hold it. 
Okay, so hopefully this won't collapse. So what you've got here is, that was where it was wrapped around. Your fingers are through there, so you've got loops this side, and then you've got loops on the bottom. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our scissors and we're just gonna cut through these loops. So exactly the same as what we did with the other pom-pom. You can just make a smaller pom-pom if you want to, but this is an easier way to make a smaller pom-pom if you've only got one pom-pom maker. Hopefully this won't collapse on me, doing this on camera. Make sure I get all the loops. I think that's all the loops. And there we go. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna leave one tail, the longer tail, and I'm gonna trim this down. I'm gonna be a bit more dramatic with this one to really fluff it up. Being careful not to make it too small that it collapses. Fluff this up a bit. There we go. So trim that down a little bit more, it's a little bit fluffier. Move that out of the way so you can see. And there we've got, that's just come out, okay, never mind, <laughs> must have cut that. We've got a little mini pom-pom. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna sew this onto the top of our proper pom-pom. And we want to make sure that it's the red at the top and the white at the bottom. So I happen to have a thread just at the top here, which is handy. So I'm gonna get a yarn needle and I'm gonna thread this through. This is why it's a good idea not to cut the tail ends on your main robin. I'm just gonna bring that over slightly to so nearer to the red. Then I'm just gonna sew through the middle. So be careful not to stab yourself. Through there. And then I'm gonna pull that a little bit tight. And then I'm gonna go back in and out through the bottom of the robin. This is where you're likely to stab yourself, so be careful. Okay. And then you can try and secure it by going over. Okay, and then we can cut off the tail ends. And then we're just gonna trim down this head a little bit to make it look neater. And there we go, that is our little pom-pom main body of our little pom-pom robin. And what you can do now if you want to is just add some eyes and a little nose. So we're going to get the brown yarn again and to make a little beak what we're going to do is we're just going to chain four. And I'm just using the same yarn I used for the robin and a 3.5 millimeter e crochet hook because this is a DK light worsted weight yarn. And I'm going to chain four. So it's chain one, two, three, and four, I don't know why you can see with this dark yarn actually. Then in the second chain from our hooks, we don't count the loop on our hook, there's our first, there's our second. In that second chain, I'm just gonna do a little slip stitch. Then in the next chain, I'm gonna do a single crochet. And then in the next chain, the last chain, I'm gonna do a half double crochet. So you end up this little triangle shape. I'm going to do a chain one and turn and again in that first chain I'm going to do half double crochet in the next chain I'm going to do a single crochet oops I didn't do that properly single crochet and the last chain in that little slip stitch I'm going to do another slip stitch I'm going to turn my work and I'm not going to do a chain one, I'm just going to turn straight away. Then in that slip stitch we do another slip stitch which 
really don't think this is showing up on camera very well. I do apologise. Single crochet in there, and then a half double crochet in the last. So you end up with this little shape here, and I'm going to cut my yarn, leaving a little bit for sewing. I'm going to pull that through. And then what I'm going to do is grab my yarn needle and I'm going to fold this in half. Okay, so you've got your two tail ends this side, and I'm going to fold this in half, and I'm going to sew along there down to the tip. Let's get the yarn needle. Then folding this in half, matching up with the other tail end. I'm going to sew, whip stitch this closed. Keeping that tail end out of the way. So that is down at the tip and what we want to do is get this yarn back to this end so we can sew it on. So I'm just going to sew to the other end. I'm not going to pull too tightly because I want to keep that point. And there is our little beak and then we're just going to sew that onto the front of our robin as neatly as I can. If you prefer, you can just glue it on if you want to. I'm just going to sew it on as neatly as I can. I mean, these aren't a toy, so you don't have to worry about it being suitable for children. These are just ornaments to put on a tree. It's got a lot of loose parts. <laughs> there we go. So just secure it slightly. There we go, he's got his little beak, which I'll show you better in a minute. There we go, it's sewn on his little beak, which is a really dark day. I think you can see that, he's got his little beak on there. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're just going to put some eyes on him as well. So I'm going to grab some lengths of black yarn, a couple of lengths. I'm going to tie about three or four knots into the centre of these. You could probably glue on some googly eyes if you wanted to, or use some safety eyes, whatever you prefer. One more. There we go. If you can see that, I've got a knot in the middle and I'm going to sew either end onto my little robin. Either side of his little face. She shows up a lot better in real life, so I don't think the camera is doing this justice. And it's a really, really dull day today. I'm just getting absolutely no sunshine to do any tutorials. It's really frustrating. There we go. I don't know if you can see that on there. <laughs> He's got a little eye in there. It shows up a lot better. And then all I'm going to do is actually what you can do is just tie it at the back. And then trim this down and you just won't see it. And there we go. So he's got his little eye in there. And then I'm going to do the same for the other side and then our little robin's done. And there we go. There is our little robin, his little nose and his eyes either side. I really don't know how well you can see that on the camera. But that is our little pom-pom robin. There's our other little one here. This one's actually ended up bigger than this one. But I hope you've managed to follow along that tutorial. Hopefully you'll give it a try. Something a little bit different, something a bit more fun. And uh, I'll see you soon for some more crochet crafting fun. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> I'm not sure which one's better, I think my first one's better. <laughs>